Hey all, Tony Bang here, hello and welcome to my Fire Barrage in-game build guide for Star-Lord and Marvel Heroes Omega. It's a nice simple build, we use the Fire Loader power to give us a huge amount of AoE and we actually have some pretty nice boss killing skills as well. Now on top of that we have vulnerability and weaken in our kit which is certainly very useful. Now with this video what we'll do to showcase the build is I will show off the skills first. We then have a look at the talents. Next up we have a look at the optimal synergies that I would use. We then have a look at the infinity system and I will discuss the first 100 point allocation we would use. Next up we have the gear and priority where we look at where you start with gearing for this particular build to make the most of it. And then finishing up we have the fun part where we've got some gameplay. We will do a run through of an operation and a full bounty clear as well. But first up for this video, let's have a look at the skills. We start off here then by looking at the main spend that we would use in this instance. I would actually be using Elemental Barrage. Now, if you're finding that you're struggling for your actual resource, which is Plasma Ammo, feel free to change over to Elemental Shot. The bonus Elemental Shot gets isn't as good once you're loaded up with fire ammo and the AOE isn't as big but it uses a lot less ammo so bear in mind you've got the options of choosing either one here. We then look at our first cooldown skill now with just about all our builds what you always want to start off with is your cooldown skill that has vulnerability. You want to apply that vulnerability before you actually start laying down your dots and firing off your additional skills. So this actually has burning on it as well. It has initial damage packet and as mentioned already it's got the vulnerability portion. We then have Cryo Grenade, so this is really nice. It will slow and weaken the enemy. Now it has a low 4 second cooldown but I do find if I was to use this whenever it's available every 4 seconds as opposed to my normal 8 second rotation I'll actually run a bit low on ammo. So the way it works is I'll just fire off all my skills every 8 seconds and doing that makes the rotation nice and easy as well. The next skill we have, this is Strafe, so you'll call in the Milano for a bombing run and the great thing about this is it doesn't consume any plasma ammo so just bear that in mind if you've ran out and you don't yet have a reload available that you can use that. Next up we have the all important fire reload skill so with this it will imbue your elemental shot, elemental barrage and also elemental blast with the fire effect and for fire that will give you additional AOE effect on your skills and it really is great for whittling down mobs as we will see later on in this video. But next skill we have, this is Elemental Blast, so it does a nice amount of damage, it has a huge AOE effect, although the cooldown says 12 seconds, through talents we've got it when we use a loader power, it refreshes this, so this cooldown is essentially 8 seconds as well. Now, final skill we look at is this signature, which is Orbital Strike, does a huge amount of damage over AOE, stuns the enemy for a pretty nice 4 seconds and on top of that we've got it set up through talents so we've got 2 charges so if you save them up, fire them off on a boss, you'll really do a nice amount of damage. But what we'll do next anyway is we'll have a look at the talents we would use. Now the first talent we're using here is actually really quite important because with us only using one ammo loader skill we'll run out of ammo if we are not having the 30% cost reduction which is associated with this. Now on top of that ammo loader skills gain a 50% power damage as well and they always critically hit so that works out pretty nice there. We then have for talent line number 2 uncanny marksmanship. So with this, powers that spend plasma ammo, so that's all our main spenders really, and it's our fire skills, the only skills it doesn't affect is the Milano attacks, they will gain 10% more damage and 5% higher critical hit chance. That's really pretty nice there because once you start hitting diminishing returns, any flat critical hit chance you can get really does work out great. We then have elemental intensity. So with this, Elemental Blast gains 50% bonus damage, the cooldown is increased by 6 seconds, but as mentioned in the skill section, when we use a loader, it resets it. So essentially, we gain all the damage bonus and we don't really have any downsides because we can still use it every 8 seconds, which is pretty nice there. 
we then have Orbital Bombardment, so pretty simple one. Your signature Orbital Strike cooldown is reduced by 5 seconds and you gain the 2 charges on it. Finishing up the talent section we look at Close Support, so this add 2 guns to the Milano Strafe at half damage allowing it to hit more targets. It's pretty simple but it's the best option out of the talents available here. What we'll do now anyway is we'll have a look at the synergies that we would use. So with the synergies here, first off you always want to take your primary attribute, so it's energy and fighting and gambit and war machine cover them for us. For the remaining attributes there's quite a few ones that I like to use in a lot of heroes and they would be blade, hawkeye, hulk, nova I like to use on heroes who have dodge or a bit squishy because the movement speed does help. She-Hulk is another great one that's universal, along with Squirrel Girl as well. So the one that's really different for Star-Lord would be the Punisher one, because it offers both ranged and gun damage, so that works out perfect for us. But nice and simple section there anyway. So what we'll check out next will be the allocation of the first 100 affinity points that I would actually use. Nice and simple setup here for Infinity then, we are placing our first 100 points into Deep Thought for an additional 250 plasma ammo and we really do need that due to the fact we only use one loader because using one loader allows us to use our cooldown skills so it is worthwhile the trade off. On top of that placing 100 points gives you the critical hit where you regenerate 0.5% of your maximum health and also a further 10% cost reduction which really helps out a lot. Now as you start to gain further infinity points I would start to place some of them into attack speed because your main attack hits really quite quickly so the more attack speed you put into it the quicker it will hit and on top of that once you start to find that your attack speed is going higher then you can build your resource start to put some points back into deep thought and plasma ammo again and that should keep you busy for a good while anyway but next up what we'll do is have a look at the gear and priority for this build so when it comes to gear here what I won't do is point out exactly every option you want to use but I'll give you a rough guide and then you can build it from there and of course in the comments below if you've got any questions you can ask there as well. But with your gear you always want to start off with your legendary because what you're then looking for in other slots is based on what your legendary normally doesn't have. So this legendary it provides damage rating, a whopping 1500 critical hit rating and also your 10% attack speed and it has uh, rank 3 and rank 5 dot which works great as well. So we have the critical hit and attack speed covered so that means when you come to your slots 1 to 5 you don't have to go for critical hit in all of those slots you'll mix in brutal strike rating in a few of them and you can even mix in plus 5 to your attributes as well to get a bit more damage rating. Same for the actual artifacts when it comes to them you don't have to worry too much about the critical hit and you can go for ones that are more based on brutal strike or damage rating if we look at the relic because all our skills are tagged range we go for the complete relic of xandar so that works out perfect now finally just before we finish up a section i won't normally cover medallions in this section but this one works perfect for us so it's pyro medallion it uh, adds a fire dot to enemies and gives a bonus 10% extra damage from fire powers as well. So that's our main spender and a few of our other hard hitting skills. Now if you don't have that, another one that could work great and I'm confident enough that it won't actually be redundant in the near future would be Mandarin. That can work fantastic for any range setup as well. But what we do to finish off the video, something nice and fun, we have some gameplay. We have a full bounty clear of the Sinister Lab operation so you can see how he is for taking out trash, how he is for taking down bosses. So really as always, hope this was useful. Any questions feel free to ask them below and sit back and enjoy this gameplay.